Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, in this video, I've actually found a permanent solution to the value of zero is not valid for M size and a permanent solution for access pass uh, program blah 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 dot txt file is denied there is a permanent solution in my previous videos i did a solution for how to fix the value of zero is no valid for m size and these errors but uh it's actually temporary because whenever you open your vmix and you you know you use the internet connection with it it's going to show that error again so you have to redo the step and make sure you don't use the internet connection whenever you open vmix or you make sure you don't um you don't get have internet connection that sometimes some people call it you open vmix offline instead of online yes but there's actually a permanent solution to that i found the permanent solution finally for my fans because a lot of people have been asking me please i need the permanent solution they can't keep doing this at times they forget even i personally i forget at times how to do it and this and that all right so i'm going to be showing you how to do the permanent solution please stay tuned don't forget my name is joseph olas to and this is extensive <laughs> Alright, so if you're having that error, um, value of zero is not valid for M size or any of the errors in Vmix, that's actually because of this. Okay, so I'm going to be removing my face. I'm going to remove my face from this tutorial in the laptop. So you're going to just see the laptop screen like this without my face in it. Alright, so let's get started. Please, please, and um, please, it's detailed. So you have to just follow the whole instructions the way I do it back to back and all. Alright, thank you very much for watching let's see how it goes and if it's good please drop it in the comment section below let people know that okay this is actually working and the rest of that thank you so much all right all right we're going to the fly explorer then we'll go to this pc this pc the pc then i'm going to your file dx so your local dx yes and you go to your local dx you're going to user you're going to your user after you're going to user then the name of your system whatever name is here yeah, that's it the name of this system is ggm you know it's the church system so we we'll go to ggm then we're going to update that but in case you don't see this update uh, we'll go to view then go to eating items you know you know this is it you don't see update that but when you click the items you can see update so we're going i'm going to i'm going to take it slower so we'll go to eating items click on it and this update here yeah. click on it then we go to local click on local then we go to go to studio costs this one here this 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 then this this one to work with want to work with this right i go i went back in case you don't know what i did i went back 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 using backspace so i'm going to enter this and i want to delete this delete huh you following all right so let's go back to Let's go back to your PC. This local disk. Now we go to Windows. This Windows here. Windows. Okay. Then we go to Follow Me. Um, System Thirty Two. This. This here. Uh -huh. Then we go to drivers. Drivers. All right. Go to etc. Remember this host, host, this host. Remember this host. I want to do something with this host okay so we open this host using notepad all right then let's minimize everything for now a note to open 
to show you what all this is for okay look at i did look at you can add the following lines to the host these are the lines you add to the host and if the vms keep closing it means that likely to lose the home service i'll write all this in you know i'll write all this in the youtube description also for easier understanding so that's options for limiting it so that you add the firewall restrictions to the remote address this is the remote address or you add the lines these are the lines you add you get so this is the this you can delete this this is the temporary one we used to use before so is it out of the two okay so i hope you understand and keep following all right so for now i'm just gonna copy this copy and we go to this host okay i've opened the host down before then go to the host here local hosts and we paste control v now you add in a tab here just put in tab put tab put tab Put tab. Oh, sorry. Put in tab for all of it. So it to be under this. Now, this one also we're gonna separate them. We're gonna separate this. Put in tab here. Okay. This also put in tab. This also put in tab. This also we'll put in tab. This also. We put in tab all right i will be following okay then we save save us hosts offers save us hosts want to replace it there all right you want to replace it yes so you don't have the permission and the rest okay so if you can replace it there what you have to do is this um we'll do something like this now we'll save as and put it in desktop huh save so it's in desktop right i'm just gonna cancel this it's in desktop so this here continue so it's supposed to replace this here but if you just can't replace it because it's not in files in text documents if you just can't replace it because in windows 11 i'm guessing windows 11 can't replace it but if you just can't replace it all you have to do is create a new folder here create a text document then enter it i'm going to open this first okay open this as notepad enter it all of this can copy sorry all of this you copy all right you copy it then you paste it in this with the old new thing of this one this one you're adding here you copy and you paste it in that one Control v. this 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 put it again this 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 we do it again ah uh, then now we we'll bring this here we we'll move to the document and um, to desktop because i can't paste that file i need this file not a text document so this one that i opened here the text document that the new one i opened i'm just going to save as and i'm going to replace it as this file here this host so i'm going to replace the host yes i want to replace it so it's officially replaced and it cancel this don't save it cancel this also so now if i open this hosts it's gonna be this huh this is it this is it so all you have to do is move it back here and continue yes all right now i'm gonna make it full screen back okay so we go back to this pc 
and go back to your laptop then now we enter program data program data all right now we search for firewall this windows defender firewall that's what we want to enter okay then advanced sets in yes slow down hope you are following then go to inbound rules then we say a new rule then make sure it's in programs then we go to next then this program path we go to browse we go into PC then you enter your local dx program data this times 60 times sorry times 86 times 86 we go here we go to vmix the vmix then you go to vmix times 64 hope you following then open yes it here then we go to next all right now do block the connection next all of them should be ticked then next i go to v m what's the name v with capital m i x v mix then you put in v mix 64 not just only v mix then we copy it ctrl c i paste the description here then make 64 ah uh, then you finish that's it so you minimize this then we go to outbound rule ah uh, then new rule go to program as we did the last one then we browse it again then we look for vmix vmix as if all the same place this program data vmix this place then you go to vmix 64 then you open next you block the internet connection next yes you ticked next then you know you see copied paste and paste you get in then finish use the vendors you know it is able to that it here all right so this is it here so we go to this and you make sure you see your vmix 64 this is a blocked uh -huh. all right so we cancel okay let's see what text to do let me cancel in this i don't need this anymore so now we go to pc your pc then program data Remember the program data if you can't see it you go to your view then 89 items then you see there and program data then we go to um, vmix yes we go to vmix don't forget and now this video one and the rest we got to rename it you know first of all Uh, yeah in case you're having two video stuff here you can just delete them um. you're having to you can just you know move them away delete one away then this one should be renamed as video alone then you enter it no no one and no one or anything then when you enter it you move them back yes ah uh, yes so what else let me cancel this and that is all for the video i think your vmix should be easy running right now so now you can launch vmix with internet connection 
let me try it for you let me get my internet connection ready all right so if this video has been very useful to you because that's useful to me also uh don't forget to like this video and share it to friends and family i'm sure a lot of people want to know how to fix this problem permanently yes and please and please subscribe to the channel to join this amazing family turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post a new video and get updated all right if you have any problem or any challenges on vmix you can easily chat me up on whatsapp my whatsapp description whatsapp link rather is on my description of my youtube and you can chat me up on instagram also it's on the youtube description also yeah thank you so much don't forget this is just a last comment and this is extensive or oh, have a good day